everybody. So, you may notice that I'm wearing a similar top or a reptile scale piece. That is because uh, I just filmed a tutorial on how to apply this. This is a prosthetic transfer and it's easy peasy and I show you how to do it. So that's why I still have it on because I'm filming it after I did that. So what we're going to be crafting today is a really cool idea I had because uh, my character is a high priestess. Now this would work for any uh, mage character, priest character, mystical fairy god character. Uh, we're going to make a uh, hanging orb and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. Using all the stuff from Amazon Prime, of course. We're going to be using a hanging potted planter. This is uh, 8 inches in diameter. One of those clear balls for ornaments. We're going to uh, cut this off. Magical crystal rubies. Probably got way too many of these, but hey, props. Props are cool. A chiffon scarf. A 10 LED light. Photo diffuser paper, or fabric, it's photo diffuser fabric, and like the classic we are, because as an art major, you sure have seen this stuff before, some Martha Stewart paint and brushes, yay! So we're going to be making a really cool glowing orb, and now the whole idea of this is to get a crystallized kind of uh, truly like opalescent orb effect. So hopefully if I don't screw it up, we're gonna have a really cool thing at the end. Ooh, half my face is cut off, but I'm not what's important here. So essentially this is what we're gonna do. So I bought this planter thing for like, I believe what was like $8 off of Amazon. So this is what the plant goes in. It's like your little earthy plant bowl. Uh, you just easily take it out just like that. Um, and this is really what we came here for is this part because this is all metal so we have these awesome chains and we can hold it by the hook up top so you can already see the kind of effect that I'm uh, I'm going for here and it's gonna be really neat once it's all finished so the reason uh, I have photo diffuser fabric here is similarly because I actually have some on this light right here is because it diffuses light so this is supposed to diffuse the light so it doesn't look so strong. This is actually really, 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 really bright. Now, uh, the plan for these, because I actually have two, so if I, in case I mess up on one, I have uh, like another full orb. So we're going to paint the inside of this with the Martha Stewart Frost, and I have, uh, you know, I looked at the setting time, of course, of the frost paint, and it's 21 days to cure. Now, curing is not the same as drying. Uh, curing is for, because this stuff is dishwasher safe, so if you want to cure these items for 21 days so that you can wash them, this will absolutely be okay for that. But as long as it dries, which it will, uh, it's perfectly fine for what we have to do. Uh, and it'll dry even longer over time. We are going to line the inside of this so all of our marbles and stuff don't fall out with our chiffon. The crystals are optional because this is actually pretty small. I don't know how many of them we're going to be able to sprinkle in. But uh, the crystals, like, because one of these comes in 10 inches, so if you want to kind of embellish it more, have a little bit more room, get the 10 inches. But I opted for the 8 only because I wanted a little bit of a tighter fit and not to worry about placing it. But it's pretty cool because it can stay on its own pretty well. And we also have the um, greatest artist companion, the hot glue gun, which is already splurting glue everywhere on my glass beautiful craft table. Let's get started! Okay, so I've cut the chiffon scarf in half, kind of clean cut. So um, we're going to use this first half to cover the inside. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm taking off the hooks so we don't have to worry about them tangling and getting in the way. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to take our fabric, we're going to lay it right over the top and press down till we hit just about the middle. 
And uh, we're gonna stick our hot glue gun under that. And we're just gonna glue right here around the center. Be careful, you can burn your fingers. Um, I have callous mind to the point where I don't even feel it anymore. So, pretty easy. Looks pretty flowy uh, right now. So, uh, we're gonna cut a hole uh, where each of the dials are. Um, little slits for uh, the hanging chains and uh, we are going to now in, uh, glue down the inside. Uh, totally covered the uh, inside and we have the fabric on the inside uh, now we're going to use the access fabric to cover the bottom nobody wants to see this this isn't pretty so we can just hide it with more chiffon like so so we're actually gonna cut uh, this piece in half again because it is a half of this is just long enough to cover the bottom and the rest we can use for access and touch-ups. under there from the bottom. I'm not gonna uh, glue them to the top because they're already glued right here. So I'm just gonna leave them hanging down for kind of like extra fabric. So now uh, with the leftover chiffon that we have after we're done um, painting and covering the inside uh, with some diffuser fabric and the gems, we can see where we'd like to fit more on. So uh, the last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna secure where the loops are with some hot glue so they don't fray anymore. So now that we've secured those, um, it's now time to get on to modifying our orb here. We're also going to be cutting off the tops of these because we definitely don't want these, but I'm going to be holding on to it because I need to paint it, so we're going to do that next.
this right here is the painted gloves. I might go ahead and do another uh, coat. So these are the two halves. I stipple painted them. So now with this done, um, we're gonna wait for everything to dry and we'll be back. Okay guys, so uh, these have dried. Uh, so they are touchable. And I have cut the, um, the ornament top, the thing that used to be here. So, with it together, it looks like this. Looks pretty good. So this is kind of like the crystal ball-esque kind of look that I was going for. So we can test it now with the light inside. Now this is with no filter. No photo filter. So why don't we give it a shot? Alright! So this is it at max brightness. Pretty fortune telly, right? So we've changed the color. And then um, this also has the ability to uh, flash or fade. And this is the smooth, it only goes through the um, main few colors. Okay guys, so um, I finished painting the other two orbs just to kind of have them, just in case if I wanted the anything else to kind of carry around with me, I could do that. And I have glued our main one to the bottom of the bowl. So everything's looking pretty good so far. So uh, what I've done is make a little pocket for um, the light, essentially uh, creating a bond out of hot glue. And we're gonna take what we have, we're gonna just fold it back over again. Okay, so now we have uh, those two sides down as well, so now we have like this double pocket kind of thing going on right here, so we're diffusing more light, and then we're going to have the top fold over. Now, um, I want to make this a pocket that can come undone, so I'm actually just going to leave it as it is because it's actually a pretty tight fit. So now we're just going to um, cut the edges. Okay, so now we have our little pocket. Our light just goes right in there. Fold that over. And then we can just tuck it real nice into the bottom of our display. So now we're just gonna be adding our finishing touches and we're gonna be adding some crystals. Okay, so I've added in the crystals and now I'm finally gonna move you guys from your resting place. We need to take a look at all those crystals. So now I'm gonna connect the chains and we're gonna look at the final product. Hey.